Hi everyone, it's E, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a portrait of my doggie. Um, his name is Philo, he is almost four years old, and he is a Bashan Shih Tzu mix. He's mostly Bashan, and I think he's very, very cute. So, um, I really just decided to do this for my own, <laughs> my own benefit for myself. I really you know, have been doing previous videos that um, are kind of on a topic or on a subject that I'm interested in and I think others would be interested in. But this I just did for myself because I love my dog and I wanted to paint him. So the way I did that was I obviously did a pencil sketch beforehand off screen and then I'm using my Arteza water soluble ink brush pens um, to add color. And they're basically watercolors um, once they're down on the page. So. With this, the way that I went about it is first, of course, I took a picture of my dog several days ago and I didn't take the picture of him to use for a reference. I just took a picture of him because I love him and I like taking pictures of him. But um, I really liked the photo and I thought, oh, I could paint from this. Then I took that photo and I used a photo editing software um, to make it a little bit easier to use as a reference. So some of the things I would typically do um, if I was going to use a photo for reference that I had taken myself, I would up the contrast. What I did with this particular photo is I stuck it in a grayscale filter and then I posterized it down to about six values. So what that does, um, if you don't know, posterizing basically condenses and summarizes the various values and colors in your photo. Um, down to a range of, of values and you can choose whatever you like I think like I said I think I chose six and so basically that kind of gives it like a color by numbers look um, so that it makes it a little bit easier to use for painting um, of course you can always just paint it originally and leave all of the values in but that makes it more difficult um, and I wanted to do something stylized because if I wanted an exact photo of my dog I would just take a photo and print that out but um, if I'm going to go through the process of painting it myself I'm going to alter it and change it and make it stylized um, so that there's a benefit to me doing it you know with art supplies versus just doing it through photo editing software and printing it out so from that grayscale posterized image for my reference, I then assigned colors to each of those values. My lightest value, of course, is white and my darkest being black. Um, and so my colors between that, I chose this creamy, orangey, yellowy color for the light value, then pink, lavender, a darker purple, blue, and then the darkest shade is like a teal, blue, green. So I've been spending a lot of time with my dog lately, and I'm sure a lot of you folks out there also are with the um, certain virus going around. Um, and I'm spending more time at home anyway. I didn't mention this in my last upload, but um, I had gotten a part-time job, but I already quit it due to some conflicts with the hiring manager in the HR department at the job I took, which I won't get into here. I'm over it now, but basically I felt like they forced my hand and I had no choice but to leave. Um, I couldn't stay. It was unconscionable to me, so I had to go. But I've been spending a lot of time at home and even more so now with this virus going around and everybody basically being advised to stay home.
So for this piece that I'm making, um, oh, I love my dog and I'm happy with it to a certain extent, but um, I don't know. I'm sure every artist out there basically feels the same way that I do. And that is like, no matter what, no matter how much you like something in the moment that you're making it, once you get done, it's only a matter of time before you start finding all of the flaws and problems with it. And I definitely felt that way about this piece. I'm not going to point out too much stuff, but um, I wish that I had not done a pencil sketch first, or if I had, I had done it with some sort of water soluble pencil, maybe in like a yellow or an orange, so that when I went over it with the water soluble ink, that it would kind of melt into the other colors. So basically something really light so I could see it when I was painting over it, but light enough that it wouldn't be visible once the paint was laid down. Um, and for the most part, looking at the piece, um, especially in person, it's hard to see those pencil lines, but some of them are still visible. And I think that like, just from like a craftsmanship standpoint, um, I could have done a better job. The other thing is I feel like his eyes are just a little too far apart in my painting. Um, otherwise I think it looks great, but his eyes, I think could just be a little closer together. And I think that would make it look a little bit more like him. Otherwise, I mean, you can definitely tell it's my dog and stuff and, um, I think it turned out really good, but like I said, the longer I've looked at it since I've finished it, the more problems I'm seeing with it. And here I'm going to add some final touches of highlights with some white acrylic paint. That's really all I'm going to say about this piece and the process of it. Um, I hope that you maybe learned a little something about I mean, maybe how you could turn a photo of yours into a painting. Um, and maybe the way I've done it is definitely pretty easy and not intimidating. So it's probably something you could try out for yourself and have success with. And if you do wind up trying it, let me know and I'd be happy to take a look at your art as well. Okie doke, so I'm going to wrap things up here. I went out today and picked up Animal Crossing New Horizons against the advice of my local government officials. I'm sure plenty of other people did as well. Um, and I'm thinking that's probably going to keep me pretty busy during this time. I'm sure a lot of other people out there are playing too. If you are, let me know. And with that, I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.